Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can we use Selenium implicit weight for waiting for an alert to be displayed on the page? Let me answer. The straightforward answer for this question is no. It's not possible for us to wait for an alert to be displayed on the page using Selenium's implicit weighting mechanism. Rather, we have to use explicit weighting mechanism. So how to use this explicit weighting mechanism in Selenium for waiting for an alert? I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session. So here I'll be writing the code, web driver, driver is equal to new, Chrome driver, and hover the mouse on this web driver and uh, just import this web driver from Selenium library. Will take a while sometimes, over it again. Okay, if you're getting this kind of uh, issue, change to web driver decorator and all fix project setup, you can say and select this, add archive and say okay, and select this and say okay, that's it. Web driver will be imported. Similarly, import the Chrome driver, import Chrome driver class from Selenium, then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize, then driver dot get. This will maximize the browser. This will open the Chrome browser. This will maximize the browser window. Here we need to open the application URL in the browser. That is, I'll open the browser and say omai.blogspot.com. Copy this URL and paste it here. Once you open this application URL in the browser, now, once you open this, uh, there is a button here. When you click on the button, you will get an alert. Okay. Inspect this button. And uh, take this ID, copy this ID, and uh, simply say driver dot find element by dot ID, provide the ID locator, and say dot click. Put a semicolon. Once you say that, it will uh, it will click on the button, and we don't know in how much time this alert may get displayed because this is an asynchronous call. Okay, the page is not loading for the alert to be displayed, so it depends. Sometimes the alert may get displayed with a delay also, we don't know, okay? So anyhow, whether it is coming fast or not, we have to, as a good practice, we have to wait for this alert to be displayed on the page. So to get, to wait for an alert to be displayed on the way, uh, on the page, uh, we have to use this uh, explicit waiting mechanism, web driver wait, wait is equal to new web driver wait. We have to create an object for this web driver wait class in Selenium. Now hold the mouse on this web driver wait and import it from Selenium library. And here simply say driver comma duration dot of seconds of seconds and uh, give the time at some 30 seconds max. What doesn't matter if the alert is coming before 30 seconds also, it will not wait for the entire time anyhow. So you have to say wait dot until, then you have to write the next line for explicit wait that is wait dot until. And here you have to write expected conditions dot visibility expected conditions dot uh, uh, alert is present, okay? Just wait for the alert to be present. That's it. Wait out until alert is present, okay? Then that's it. Uh, you have to wait for an alert. This is how we have to wait for an alert. After that, you perform the operations on the alert. Like, uh, let's say you want to accept this, uh, you want to get the text that is displayed on the alert. Let's say for that, uh, first we have to switch to the alert, driver dot switch to dot alert. And uh, this will return you the alert and uh, the return type is alert interface. And using this object reference, you can get the text that is there on the alert, alert.get text, okay? So string text on alert is equal to, okay? Then write down system.out.println text on alert, simply say text on alert. And after that, okay? Accept the alert, that is uh, alert dot accept, okay, alert dot accept. That's it. Once you accept the alert, alert is gone, alert is gone, okay, and uh, that's it. Let's run the script and see. The same thing is happening. We'll open the Chrome browser. First, it will open the Chrome browser. Then it will maximize the browser. 
then it will click on the button. I think uh, it, it was too fast for us to see the alert came and gone away. And you can see the text that is there on the alert and the alert got closed, okay? So this is how we have to wait for an alert. We cannot use implicit waiting mechanism for waiting for an alert. We have to instead use explicit waiting mechanism for waiting for an alert. So that's all for this session. Hope you got the answer for this question. Thank you. Bye-bye.